<laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty. And joining me today, hello, Sissy, hello. is my sweet twin sister, Judy hello. from All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we just wanted to hop on and do a little chit chat, a little crafting today on this beautiful Memorial Day weekend. We hope that you're all having a safe and uh, happy holiday weekend. And uh, please remember what this holiday truly is about. And while we enjoy ourselves, we thought we would uh, do a little crafting and a little chit chatting. Today we'll be working on Judy was kind enough to send to me uh, a keychain, an initial keychain, and it's a D. There we go. And she got one for herself, which is not a D, but she got one that's a J. <laughs> so we thought we would sit here and work on it. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we thought we'd sit here and work on it. So sorry, friends. I literally just hopped out of the shower, threw my hair back in a clip, and said, let's, let's have a little fun. So here we are. So, sis, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Hanging in there. Trying to stay out of trouble, but you know me. Trouble finds you. Hello. <laughs> it's my best. It's my best friend. Yes, it is. Troubles. <laughs> um, I don't know if everybody knows this, but these are special shapes and crystals. So... Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. These are special shapes and crystals. Oh, am I supposed to say th something else? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sitting at my dining room table. I changed locations today. I'm sitting at my dining room table. And yes, you can see the lights in the background. Yes, we have those up all year round. They're simple white a string of white lights. Uh, what happens is in the in the middle of the night, if we have to take Spoto out, it just creates a nice uh, warm light, just a, a little light to show, you know, to light the way. And, kind, of, uh, yeah. kind of like runway lights for airplanes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I have them throughout the house, as a matter of fact, in different areas. I use night lights. Well, these are LED, and I just like them. I just mm -hmm. like them. I like them. <laughs> they went up one Christmas, and they never came down. Why? Because we liked them that much. Well, actually, we had we did have uh, lights up there. They they were the multicolor lights. Yes, yes. And yes, truth be told, they were up there for quite a while. But then they started to, you know, pass on and. Uh, <gasps> May yeah. they rest in peace. So we decided, may they rest in peace. And we decided, you know what? Let's do it, but let's, you know, we don't we don't need the the multicolor lights up all year. Mm -hmm. We're not that way. So we thought we'd do the white lights. Yay. Yeah. So sorry about the glare, but I need my extra power for my glasses. <laughs> and so you started already, sis? Uh huh. Jeez Louise, I'm a slacker. No kidding. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not a slacker. I I'm just using, jumped the gun. I'm using my pen that you gave me, sissy. Oh, cool. You know what I'm using? What came with the what the kit? kit? Yeah, the the wax, the, the pen. I got the boat. The bow. I'm using everything that came with the kit. Cool. Because yeah. that's what you can do. Yeah, exactly. Just to show that, you know, you can just use what comes with the kit and it's perfectly fine. Get you where you got to get to. Well, you've inspired me. Here we go, my friends. Oh, mm -hmm. she's breaking out the toolkit. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm already using the boat, so I'll use the rest. Yeah. Exactly. Mundo. Considering I still can't find my pen stash, I stashed it so well, I still can't find it. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. No, I'll find it's, it. It's been almost a week. 
It's in that closet somewhere. Put a bolo out for it. I might have to. Uh huh. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, my hubby is listening or watching, um, or at least attempting to watch the NASCAR race, the uh, Xfinity race. Can't hear anything. But they're in a they're in a rain delay right now. So Charlotte, you North guys, Carolina is having some rain. You guys knew that was going to happen. Yep. We sure enough did. <laughs> oh, and by the way, these initial key rings, friends, they are both sides. Yes. Isn't that are. nice? Yes, they are. Yep. So we thought we would visit while we decorated the one side. So how's everything going, sis? Good. Good. Yeah. I'm pooped today. That's what happens when you go to bed at 2.30 in the morning. That does tend to happen that way, for sure. And what were we doing until 2.30 in the morning, dare I ask? Playing a game, Mexican Train. Nice. Oh, a board game or a tile game. A tile game, dominoes. Okay. Dominoes mm -hmm. game. Nice. Yeah. I've been wanting That's to play it for a while now. Nice. Yep. That's fun to do, you know, mm -hmm. on an on an, a weekend evening. Yes. You know, it beats sitting in front of the, the what some refer to as the idiot box, the TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, matter of fact, last night, Todd and myself and Spoto, we enjoyed our outdoor backyard living space and we had a fire pit. The picture that you posted is absolutely, the little short, rather, that you posted is absolutely cute, adorable. Oh, thanks, honey. Thanks. I freaking loved it. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Spoto was fantastic. Um, he was really well behaved for the most part. I mean, towards the end, when it got dark, you know, he had, we had already been out there for several hours and he hadn't been used to being out there for that long. Mm -hmm. And so he started to not act up, but just, you know, he was tired. And so Todd brought him in and put him in his kennel for a little while, his crate while we sat back outside and he was able to get up and look through the window and check on him. And mm -hmm. he was fine the whole time. So cool. it was just really relaxing. Yeah. We had, Oops. we had some country music on some vintage country music and, just enjoying, you know, our neighborhood is a very quiet neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We don't get a lot of uh, car traffic. Mm -hmm. And the entire time that we were out there, if we had maybe three cars go down the road Dang. in our neighborhood. Yeah. And then, you know, there were some kids out mm -hmm. and they were playing and, and you know, screaming and yelling, which kids do, which is fine. Mm -hmm. And then there were some neighborhood dogs that were barking i'll tell you about something else about barking dogs in a minute but um <laughs> but todd and i are sitting there and we're you know enjoying the fire we're listening to the kids playing and the dogs barking and the birds and you know the the peepers and all that and we're like this really does remind us of camp mm -hmm. because we're not we're not going out to a campgrounds this year if we mm -hmm. want to camp, we'll camp on our back porch mm -hmm. in our tent. And um, because Spoto is just too young right mm -hmm. now. But it really did remind us of camp. Like the campground that we like to go to is mm -hmm. so quiet. And all you hear are the kids playing and yelling and carrying on. And, you know, they're allowed, you're allowed to bring your dog. So sometimes dogs will be barking. And that's all, you know, it just reminded us of camp. And it was just so nice. Nice. It was cool. a lot of fun. Yeah. It was just a lot of fun. Very relaxing. What number are you working on? I'm on number one. Me too. Mm -hmm. It It's the outline of my uh, initial. Yep. Me too. Pretty so, gold. It is a nice looking gold. Yeah. I hope I have extras. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I've been uh, cross stitching this weekend. I hadn't. I ever since I um, transitioned positions at work. I honestly, um, I started on May fifteenth, and I can honestly say that 
before this weekend, I had only touched my cross stitch once, and that was for about five, six minutes. So no kidding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, sis, that's unusual for you because you usually carve out a little time to cross stitch now and again. Yep. So this weekend, I've been on and off with my cross stitching and enjoying it. Truth be told, Judy, I haven't done one single craft this whole weekend. <laughs> Honestly, today is the first I've actually done anything remotely close to a craft. Girl, I was going to conquer the world this weekend. I was going to clean up the house and look like it needs cleaning. I cleaned it last weekend, and it's just the two of us. So Yeah, no, your house looks like a museum all the time. So, so I decided to take the weekend off. Good. And I took it all the way off, with the exception Good. of <clears throat> making some dinners. Uh-huh. I took it off. Good. You should. And we, we had fun last night. We um we had hamburgers and nice. a salad for dinner. So mm -hmm. that was fun. A nice um holiday, you know, weekend meal mm -hmm. to, to kick off the unofficial start of summer. Yes. Good. Yes. What did we have last night? I know we had baked beans because I made them. We had <laughs> macaroni salad, potato salad. I thought you had and... ribs. Didn't you have ribs? Thank you very much. Yes, I made crock pot ribs. I thought so. So we got to smell those cooking all day long. Oh, oh tease, tease. Oh, my God. I know, right? They were, and they were so good. They were boneless ribs oh, that those Todd got. awesome. Oh, my gosh, Judy. They were on, just on point. Uh, question. Are your drills a little staticky? I did. Judy, I did end up. I did pack these up because, yes, I put in a piece of... Um, a piece of dryer sheet in number one. Isn't that odd that mine came bagged already? Now, that being said, I don't know if you remember me telling you this or not. Um, that, yes, I ordered you the letter D and I ordered myself the letter J. And in my package, I got extra goodies. You did? That I, that I didn't pay for. Oh! I found that kind of odd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But when I opened up the bag, I guess, <laughs> I got two more letters. I also oh. got the letter C. Oh. And, I, and I got the letter D. <laughs> I checked. I did not order these for myself. Why would I? Uh, but there you go. So I have a letter C and a letter D to do. Now, I will tell you, the D that I have comes pre-packaged also but the c really does not. the c does not the c okay. comes in the little bags with the silver strip on them really now can i see the d yeah can i see the packaging the d sure sure okay maybe i did maybe they were already pre-packaged and i just threw in the uh the dryer sheet. the dryer sheet because they were static you noticed that they were staticky yeah yeah because these have the numbers on them yeah, mine does too. Um, Although I do have bags with the numbers on them, just like them. I save. I try to save them when they're bagged up. Struggle bus much, too? No, nah, not too much. Occasionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you do, you really put your all into it. Oh, I do. I really do. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> it's a bag and I'm sitting here going, how the hell do you open up this bag? <laughs> Where's the instructions? And who would play her? And who would play her? Oh, girl. Girl. Oh. They're, oh, they are the same type of bags. Okay, yeah. See, Deb? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. It became bagged. Nice. Yep. But like I said, the letter C did not. Isn't that odd? I know. Odd. Odd. So, I'll do the C and the D, and if I find somebody with those initials, I have gifts already. There you go. But yeah, they seem to be just a hair staticky. Yeah, they are just a little skosh staticky. I noticed that too. But nothing that I can't get over. No, not at all. Nope. 
and For then sure. when I'm done, I will seal it with my sealer that I got from Amazon. Uh huh. You like? I love this stuff. It's got a little. Um, is it a dabber on it? Yeah, got a little sponge thing on top. Mm hmm. And the glue comes out of the hole, and mm -hmm. you just smear it all over. And in about twenty minutes, depending on how thick you made it, your stuff is dry. You get this on Amazon. The last time I looked, it was nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It's called diamond now, painting sealer. Now, question. Uh, does it uh, dull your no. diamonds? No, no, darling. Nope. Now, have you sealed any partial paintings? Yes, I have. Do you seal just where you paint, or do you seal the whole thing? I seal just where I paint. Okay. I seal just where I paint. Up until now, in... Um, a portfolio or, you know, someplace where they could lay flat if they're bigger than the portfolio. Mm -hmm. So um, I have some Minwax that I want to use. That's a wink and a nod to Diamond Grandma. And uh, that's what I did too. <laughs> and uh, I did. And uh, so she I got it from both sides then. Work on that. Mm -hmm. Both the sassy sisters. <laughs> so yeah it was a fun night it's been a fun weekend we took a ride the other day up to the campgrounds where we love to go and took a ride up that way and with spoto we brought spoto with us so it was fun acclimate him to using to being in the car oh he's acclimated all right he goes for a ride with todd every week <laughs> every friday Todd takes Spoda with him on a because we like to treat ourselves and grab a bite to eat. You know, just take so out. we don't have to cook yeah. Yeah, takeaway. So Todd will take Spoto with him when he goes to pick up takeaway and Oh yeah. Spoto's a hit. They'll see him in the in the drive thru window and oh your dog is so cute. <laughs> I warned you, you need to start going with Todd to make sure that you, that's all that's going on. You always say that. That is so funny. Well, Just we took saying. him, Todd took him to the vet the other day because he gets his um, heartworm chew and his um, flea and tick chew every, you know, he every month for the heartworm and every two months for the flea and tick treatment. And um, Todd brought him in. And the tech said, oh, oh, I remember you. Um, she said something else, but she, she I remember you're the you. one I want to cuddle or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're the one I or wanted like, to cuddle. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she grabbed a hold of him and, you know, took him away from Todd. <laughs> oh, like that bothered him. You'll get you'll Not get him Todd, back when I feel like giving him back. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like that bothers Spoto. Spoto's like, give it, give it. <laughs> give it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. And of course he plays shy, which you know, uh, I know. Oh the lies and fallacies. Oh, He's anything but shy. Didn't know it was story hour here on <laughs> Debbie's channel. Yeah. He is too much. He is too much. And the funny part is talking about barking before and I said I was gonna tell you all the story. Um this dog does not bark. He does not bark. Well, Truth be told, this morning we're sitting having coughing and uh, coffee, and Judy was. We were sitting on our back deck, and Judy, I was on the phone with Judy talking, and our neighbor from the house behind us up on the hill, she came down with her weed eater, and she was weed eating by her fence, which is she's got every right to do. And uh, the thing is, Spoto doesn't really take too kindly to machinery. And this was a new person that he's not seen before. And here she is. We're having a conversation and he's pacing back and forth on the porch like, you're new and you have something that makes a lot of noise that I don't like. <laughs> and who are you? And all of a sudden, for the first time, he barked at somebody. 
We couldn't believe it. And then Todd just put his hand down and started petting him, and he just, like, sat right down. But yeah. it was the funniest thing. I mean, he, he does not like the vacuum cleaner, the rug, you know, the carpet shampooer. He shampooer, doesn't like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if he's outside and Todd is getting ready to mow the lawn, he'll bring the lawnmower out. And Spoto runs up to it and puts both of his paws on it oh. and starts to pound on it. Like, right. You're not going anywhere. No. This mm -mm. is my yard. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're here to take care of it or not. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, we can get people at the door ringing the doorbell. Not a peep out of him. Nope. Not a peep okay. out of him. They That's send you all these colors and yet you don't need them all, it doesn't look like. It may feel like you don't need them all. Well, uh, number five. Number six. Okay, yeah, no, I guess you do. I'm going through one by one. I'm on Me number too. two now. Yeah. Me too. I just finished with number three. Holy Toledo, Judy. I'll show you my progress in a second. They're As not Judy big. has it all done. They're not big. No, so but. I don't take time at all. I'm just sitting here chatting and. Look at you. Gee, that's really cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Mine's got pink in it. It doesn't have red. Yours has a nice swatch of red through there. It's really I don't cute. think I have any pink. Nope. I really, Well, I have a... Uh, looks like a marquee faceted cut gem that's pinkish. Oh, I do have some reddish. Number three is reddish. Yes. Number pink. three is red. Yeah. No, it looked pink to me, but it's actually red. Mm. We do... I was going to say we do have some left over, but we haven't done the other side yet. <laughs> no kidding. What? What? <laughs> this is my first double-sided keychain that I've ever done. No, it's not. I thought the um, the Easter ones were single-sided. Were only single-sided. That's right. Yeah. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. I forgot about that. I I've... like I like keychains because they're nice to do, you know, to break up. From a bigger painting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a nice... I, I consider it my snack size anyway. Mm -hmm. So. And this will be a nice little snack size. Because soon is June 1st. By the end of the week, it'll be June 1st. Mm -hmm. Which means Judy and I are going to work on our little gnome painting that we have. Yep. So be on the lookout for that video. Mm -hmm. Wow, that diamond took off like it was... <laughs> It like stole, it was being chased. It stole something and the cops were after its ass. It's <laughs> gone now. It went flying across the room somewhere. Goodbye. Yeah. It's like I'll have no part of this. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> so guys, I hope you don't mind me being in my dining room right now. Oh, I, I mind terribly. Like... You didn't even offer me a cup of tea, a glass of wolf soda. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you know where I'm... everything is. Get it your damn self. What <laughs> freaking hostess is this? I had to go get my own iced tea. Thanks. You're welcome. You're very welcome. <sighs> How's the weather by now? I'm up to number three. Not bad. How about you? Um, it looks a little overcast, but other than that, it's not supposed to rain today, but it's supposed to rain the next nine days. So yikes. Yeah. And it's... we've been having storms every single day. Every afternoon we've been having storms. Well, that's typical for Florida. And the other day, since I'm still in training, we were having a wicked storm. And um I could hear the transformer twice go rare. And I'm like, oh, Lordy. So I had to let my trainers know, hey, if I get kicked off, I will rejoin via my telephone. I so hate I that sound. Able, I won't be able to uh, work, but I'll, you know, I'll be able to watch and write notes down. Um, and then um, one of the other ladies who is training with me also, she lives up in uh, Boynton Beach. And after the storm hit here, it headed her way. Mm -hmm. So she already knew it was on her way because I told her it was on her, its way. And um, they actually went into a uh, tornado warning. So she 
Oh. Hopped off. Oh, yeah. She hopped off and, and, you know, the trainers were like, you know, get it, be safe. Don't worry yeah. about us. We'll be here when you get back. Exactly. We'll go over whatever you need to go over. So yep. just be safe. Yep. So. And that's all you can do. And then Friday, she actually did lose power. Uh, it, it glitched and um, kicked her off the computer. Then she was having a hard time getting back onto the computer, so she was just going to use her personal um, device and then come back um, once she was able to. Oh, wow, that was the perfect pour, FYI. <gasps> Judy, do you have a battery backup for your computer? I don't know if that's what that thing is or not. You would know it would say. Well, I'll tell you something. If you don't, Todd and I strongly suggest you get it because it has saved our cupcakes more than once while we've been working from home. Where um, do you get them from? You can order them online. Honey, where do we get our Amazon? I should have known. And my, because if the power Amazon, goes out. My Lord and Savior. <laughs> yes. Um, if the power goes off, it gives you a little bit of time to say, listen, my power just went off and I have a little bit of time left on here, you know, before my, before this battery goes. So, uh -huh. you know, it's not, it's not like your call is just going to go dead. Yeah. It gives you a little bit of time to, you know, like wrap things up if you have to. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's helped us out a lot. You'll have to um, send me Some, a link to that. Yeah. Some companies that, you, if you work from home, they insist that you have one. Oh, that's a. Pre I mean, I'm, yeah, prerequisite. A prerequisite. Uh, that's why I'm wondering yeah. if that box is not only the hub of this whole NASA system I've got going on here, but also maybe a backup. I don't know. It doesn't say. You should though. ask. You should ask. I'm going to ask tomorrow. Yeah. You would know if the power went out. You would hear it beep. Because that's what happens to ours. It beeps. Mm, okay. Power's out. So we're using, you know, you're using me now. Right. Here's my progress. Uh-huh. Want to see mine? Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm up to number four now. Oh, okay, cool. I just got done with five, which was one whole gem. I don't see a number five here. And yet I have a number. Do I have a number five? Six. Seven, eight, nine. No, I do not. I do not have a number five. Huh. Because there's not one on here. Isn't that odd? So they must, for these initials, they must have the same gems. Uh-huh. And they just grab whatever one's, co you know, was your number? With that. Was your number four uh, like a turquoise blue? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, mine too. Okay, yeah. yeah. So there's no five. You know, why am I asking you? I have it right here. Why I don't, don't know. I just take out the one that's right here in front of me. And... Why don't you? There is why no number you? five on yours. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Huh. And you don't have a number five in your bag either. Mm-mm. Inquiring minds want to know. Now I'm curious. I'm curious. Curious, nosy. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> exactly. Seven, six, three, four. I'm glad they know how to count. <laughs> mm. Nope, doesn't look like there's a five in here. Nope. Show enough. Show enough, funny child. There is not a number five in they all. Oh, sugar. I miss a two. Girl, okay. you better pick up that game. What number I are you on now? Four. I can make. I can do it now. I can make it work now. There we go. They're cute, they are though. I'll tell you, these are really cute. Yeah. Well, you know, and what I was going to tell you about these, the keychains, I'm enjoying doing them, and I have a team order set and ready to go of course <laughs> and, and uh 
I have a couple of Tell us sets. something we didn't already know. Yeah. I have a couple of sets of keychains. Oh. And um, one of them is Christmas nutcrackers. They there's, will be used. There's will two be used as ornaments. There's two on that order, right? One for you and one for me. Sure. <laughs> Lies. There will be. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to have them too. Yes, yes, ma'am, you do. I agree. <sighs> I agree. What's one? What's good for one is good for both. That's right. So, let's see, Saturday we went to a garden center. Oh, neat. Yes, because on Friday, George and my son Jimmy, who, by the way, today is his birthday, so I'd like to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, son. Happy birthday, James, if you watch this. And um, James stopped by on Friday. So I'm working, and all of a sudden, I see the two of them out on the back patio. And I'm like, mm -hmm. huh, what are they doing? Because my, my office looks out. When I got this position, George wanted me to try my office, my desk in front of um, the other window, facing the garden. And at first, I kind of poo-pooed on the idea because I was like, you know, the, the furniture is not going to fit right. I already tried it, which I had kind of half behind tried it but i didn't put it like full full setup. right so then <clears throat> when i found out that i got this position george you know said i really think it would be nice if you were able to look out the window into the garden and see nice things instead of looking out at a busy street and i thought about it and i was like you know what you're right so one morning i got up and while i was on vacation and no it was before that and um, I emptied out all the drawers out of my desk and uh, out of my file cabinet so they're lighter to move. I cleaned out, you know, I cleaned out the room except for the big items. And um, George helped me move my desk and my file cabinet because that's all I needed help with. Right. And, right. and um, you know, come to find out, the furniture fits fantastic in here. Mm -hmm. Um it didn't take away any room mm -hmm. and I love working and I've got both of my computer screens. One is on one corner of the desk and one is on the other corner. A lot of people like to put them together. I noticed, but mm -hmm. I don't mind them like this. And, um, so See, I, I would be of the same mindset, have them together, but I mean, listen, you do you boo. And the crazy thing is that you're able to move things from one screen to the other screen. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing to do. I crack myself up doing it. Um, <laughs> so the other day when I saw them on the back porch, because George had just built this um, potting bench from a pallet, which is really cool. Um <laughs> I was looking at at that because he was working on it on the screen in back patio. Mm -hmm. So I see the two of them out there Friday and all of a sudden they're lifting this up and moving it out. So mm -hmm. I'm like, huh, look at that. I really can see the garden. It looks, I love this view. Mm -hmm. And I was watching the butterflies and everything. And I was like, Aww. you know what? I'm so glad I moved my desk. Mm -hmm. So glad. And then when I talked to George on my break about it, I, I said, you know, I noticed you and James moved, um, the potting bench she was like yeah so you can have so you can see the garden all of it and i'm like thanks Aww. i said well it worked because i've been staring out there <laughs> oh. i've been ogling it oh so <laughs> yeah good yeah i like this setup now good. i'll show you my progress okay me too. Wow. Wow, these really are nice. Mm hmm. And like they're coming them. together quick, too. They really are. Mm hmm. This is good for a beginner. It, it's good for a beginner and it's good for kids, too. Absolutely. Little ones. Yeah. Yeah. You can make I mean, you know, not little, little ones, but yeah. No. 
But good for a summer project. This yeah. will give them something to do for just a little while anyway. Yeah. So I'll have a couple of those left over. I love leftovers. Me too. I love that. Well, remember, you have to do the one on the back, too. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was just counting. I was like, okay, oh. so this this color, good. they only use three beads, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six beads left. So I'm like, okay, cool. Extra, extra, read all about it. Yeah, I like this. Me, too. See, there's no 10. Mine doesn't have any 10s. Does yours? Mine has a 10, yeah. Mine doesn't. What's the 10 look like? I could just take this one out, but I'd rather you show me. Oh, okay, cool. See, I have a 9, and it's a red bead. <gasps> Do you have an 11? Yeah. The 11 oh, is everything. The 11 is everything. They, the they 11 is everything. Of, they remind me of snowflakes. Yep. Funny. The number 9, you only use it once. They only sent two. Oh wow! I I, I you know I only needed one for mine, and they sent three. Well, you've got the other side, so you'll have an extra. That's what I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah you yeah don't. yeah. Isn't that yeah, crazy? No. I know. Weird. And I like I said, I just noticed that there was no number ten. That's so odd. Mm -hmm. Well, yours didn't need it. I think this is cute, though. I like it, and. It would be a good little project for um, a summer afternoon if it's raining or something. Mm -hmm. to give the kids something to do. Any diamond painting would be a great summer afternoon if it's raining type of a project. Oh, I agree. You I know? agree. Now, with my 10, Judy, was it number 9 that you only got two? Yep. Uh, my number 10, I only got two, and I need one for each side. Mm-hmm. That's okay. I'm not going to hold it against them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The perfect pour. Because I only needed one. And there's two in there. God. Uh, here am I. I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, wow, cool. Yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is coming together quick. It is. I mean, and we're shooting our mouths off, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we... Um, we went to the oh, garden yeah. center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to the garden center. What'd you do? What'd you do? Did you spill? Attention. All fired up crafting lounge. Spill on aisle two. Uh -uh. Anywho. Um, so we picked up four, uh, four more native plants. So I think George tallied it up yesterday. I think he said we have 24 native plants now. Wow. Yeah, he's trying to transition almost everything. There are a couple of things that we're going to leave that aren't native, um, but we really have grown attached to them, and we really like them. So, But he wants to change everything else out to just natives. And funny story, there was also a gentleman there buying – just natives and he and george struck up a conversation because we watched the man load up the specific palm trees on his cart uh -huh. a lot of them so george after the gentleman walked away uh george looks at me and he says he must have a huge yard because those palms Judy. really spread you froze you froze. <laughs> you froze and then you sped up and now you're froze again. Uh-oh. Hang on, folks. We're having technical difficulties. Please stand by. I'm filling in for Debbie right now. Hang on. Did she come back? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
automatic voice message system. In <laughs> yes. Girl. <laughs> You're we freezing again. Interrupted. I'm sorry, friends. You. Oh. And they got to hear me call you. Uh, what did, did you call me though? <laughs> I told him to decent. please stand by. I took you off the screen, added you back onto the screen. You were still froze. So I'm like, hang on a second, let's call her. Uh, sorry about that. No worries. It's today's technology. I have a feeling I'm going to have to get another uh, modem. Really? Yeah. Anyway, tell me about the, I, we were at the palm trees. Yes. And so this gentleman had quite a few of these palm trees on his cart. And he, in fact, one of the uh, salespeople went and got him another cart um, because he was getting more plants. And George says to me, he must have a really large, large yard because uh, those palms will spread. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, huh? So the gentleman was picking out plants and the salesperson was putting them on the cart for him. And he came over back to George and I, and he says, all natives. And George was like, yeah. And he says, me too. And George says, well, uh, my whole garden's not all natives, but I'm trying to, I'm getting there. You know, that's my goal with the exception of the few that we would like to keep. But he says, other than that, I'm just, everything I buy now is just natives. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, me too. And George said, you must have one hell of a property because those palms. And he was like, oh yeah, I have a lot of, a lot of land to fill. George was like, yeah, those palms will do it. He was like, oh yeah. So these two struck up a conversation. Me, I'm the third wheel on this date. So I'm like, <gasps> ladies, <laughs> oh, look at the butterfly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. I do like the nursery that we went to, though. It's I love that nursery. Cool. So, yeah, I think, like I said, I think he has said we have 24 natives. Wow. Natives. Yeah. So there's my J. Oh, you're done with yours? I was going to start my backside, my the backside of mine. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm going to also. Okay, good. <laughs> there's my D. I'm starting to do the back part now. Yay. We were only going to do the one side, but since we were so rudely interrupted by the internet connection. I know, right? I think we should just keep going. I think we should too. Hmm. And I'm, now I'm going to start from the number 12 and go backwards. Are you? See, I started from number one again. I'm a creature of habit. Well, it's on the top. <laughs> I put them as I was going. I was just piling them up. The bag. Me too. Me too. And I just flipped them over. <laughs> I'm too lazy for that. That's too much hassle. That's too much like work today. <laughs> uh, that's not what today is about. Uh, now, if I can. So, well, let's. Yes. Just got to make sure I get all the 12s in here. Oh, jeez, Louise. Because now I'm looking at it backwards. Well, not backwards, but. The numbers are correct, but the letter itself is backwards. I know. That's what, it, yeah. Kind of throws you for a little loop. It, it does. So today for dinner, what the heck did we say we were having for dinner today? Steak. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Huh? I, don't, I don't like that one. That throw looks gnarly. Uh, yes, steak, sweet potato. Baked sweet potato and tossed salad for din din. Nice. What about you? Yeah. We're having hamburgers and baked beans from yesterday. Ooh. And Todd made macaroni salad. And we have some coleslaw from yesterday. Oh, sounds mm -hmm. yummy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. fresh fruit for dessert. Um, I think James is coming over today for birthday cake. If not for dessert for me, anyway, I have, um, celery and peanut butter hmm. and George has, um, ice cream. I hmm. got him, I got him some Haagen-Dazs ice cream because mm -hmm. it's buy one, get one. <laughs> there you go. So.
Exacta Mundo. Good. Yeah. I'm so glad we're doing both sides of this together. Me too. It was nice to visit with you today. Yeah, definitely. Nice to see these folks today. Absolutely. We're so glad that you stopped by to spend a little time with us today. Technical difficulties and all. Technical. Listen, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a, a live chat or not a live chat, but it wouldn't be a chat with Debbie and Judy if, you know, something didn't get no, screwed up. Exactly. But like I said, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and take this modem back and get a new one. Now, exchange will they just, it. I was going to say, do they exchange them for free? Sure. <laughs> if it's, if it, if it's messing up, they should. If I, not, we're, we're going to have a discussion. I should say, I should say. Well, I've already called and about, you know, some issues that I had had with it. Uh -huh. So um, they said, you know, well, if push comes to shove, we'll, we'll end up exchanging it. And I uh -huh. said, okay. Uh -huh. So don't give me any problems about it. Oh, honey. Because I can make a stink bigger than B.O. itself. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. No, honey. Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Honey. Listen, I'll make a stink that will make you on your third day of Coachella <laughs> smell smell like roses. Gardenias. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> but I'll do it with a smile on my face and a song in my heart. To quote a MASH episode, she'll she'll create such a stink that it'll offend even B.O. <laughs> It's very true. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking if you're thinking about stinking. <laughs> <laughs> now, these fine folks on your channel today are probably wondering, what the hell are these two talking about? One of our favorite shows of all time. Yes. Mash. Yeah, yes. We were talking about camping last night when we were little, and I was telling Todd about how we, how mom and dad had us camping when we were a year old. Oh God, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we grew up on a campsite. Mm hmm. Yep. Every year we would be camping before the end of school. Got yep. before school let out. On yep. Friday, dad, you know, mom and dad would pick us up at school. Elementary school kids, mind you, we're at elementary yep. school. And uh, mom and dad would pick us up. And we always knew we were going camping because the trunk was always full. The back. Mm -hmm. the and back it, was a, it was a hatchback. Hatch so we knew. We were like, yay, we're going camping. Because they always like to keep it a surprise for us. Mm -hmm. Which is probably the best thing. Because you and I. <laughs> We wouldn't have gotten any work done at school. <laughs> if there was no. a test, we probably would have failed because we were so excited to just go camping. Yep. When Todd and I, when we still lived in New York, we lived within just a couple miles of one of our favorite campgrounds growing up, yours and mine. Mm -hmm. And um, I would call Todd uh, on my lunch break he worked for a lumber company and uh, I'd say, you know, if you get some, some of their, uh, you know, trash wood, that was perfectly good for, to burn. Mm -hmm. They just got rid of it, pick up some wood and I'll go home. And we had all of our camping gear packed up in totes. Always. Yeah. And I said, I'll throw some, you know, stuff together and grab a bucket of fried chicken and some macaroni salad, potato salad, from the local deli and uh meet you meet you at the campgrounds just drive around when you see the car you'll know where we're at for the weekend right and we didn't have i mean you know we, we i would pack us just like a change of clothes to get us through the night yeah. because we lived two miles away and yeah. we had a cat at home so we would go home in the morning change our clothes get fresh groceries and you know to go back out to camp mm -hmm. and feed the cat and We'd be back out there in, you know, the matter of a little while, take mm -hmm. our shower at home and everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, he'd be like, okay, I'll meet you out there. 
And there were plenty of weekends where we did that. We'd rendezvous at the campgrounds. I love that. Yep. I love that. Now, would you uh, just keep the one vehicle, like Saturday when you went home to change and shower, would you just leave one vehicle at home then? Uh, we would end up usually just leaving the one ve vehicle at the campsite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, take, okay, okay, you know, okay, okay. Usually take what, the other vehicle with us. You know, gotcha. Home. Okay. Because this way, when it came time to pack up and go home, we could just get everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And go home and just be done with it. But yeah, we had we used to do that a lot, mm -hmm. and it was so much fun. I miss camping, but you can't you can't camp in the armpit of hell here. No, Let me you tell really, you Judy, you can't camp in Florida. I mean, people do, but I mean, you have, I have. to really be a diehard. No, thank you. Not in a tent. I, I can't do it. Not in a tent. I, and I have in a tent with the Boy Scouts when Jimmy no. was in Boy no. Scouts. <gasps> Judy, tell everybody about the time, the storm and everything, and you ended up leaving the tent. Mm -hmm. and Ma, taking... that's, the, that's the weekend mommy came with me. Yes. Go down ahead. In, down in the Keys. Oh, yep. yeah. So, um, we got, it was a Friday afternoon. I drove my ex-husband's, uh, pickup truck, which is now my son's pickup truck all the way to the keys by myself. This well, was with, the, with our mother and, and well, your son. Yeah. But I, I was the only driver. Yeah. And that's not, you know, it's a few hours away. Um, and having to drive down through Miami and everything, this is when I didn't mind driving. Um, so we got down there and we were one of the first people down there and the site that I picked was right on the beach, golf side of, uh, little duck key and, um, pitched the tent right there by the water. Mm. And it was a two room tent. My mom and I had the one room and Jimmy had the other room. Plus in the front, it was just a big screened in room attached. So you had two bedrooms and the screen in room. And we had a little table in there and some chair, a couple chairs. And it was nice. You know, you could sit and eat your dinner, not get bit up by mosquitoes and everything. Was that a brand new tent? It was the second time using it. Okay, go on. Well... In the middle of the night, it decides to storm. And when I say it decides to storm, I mean it decided to storm. Wind, rain, the whole nine yards. And the tent started to leak. So we were going to go ahead and try to stick it out uh, in the truck. But it was very uncomfortable. So we rode up to Marathon, see if we could get a room. So we ended up staying in the truck that night because it was dry at least. Right. And um, and then the next day when when we uh, went out to the campsite, you know, when we got up um, and we went out to the tent, there was a hole in it from the wind and everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was so crushed because that was probably my favorite tent. It was so roomy. Yep. And I loved the fact that it had an the attached screen house, screen yeah. house on it. Yeah. So yeah. I was so heartbroken. I left it there. Mm. I didn't even bring it home. I left it there. You took it down and pitched it in the garbage and said, yeah. never to be seen or heard from again. Yeah. The body's in there. The body. The, the body. The body. It's out there. Yeah. The body is in the garbage can. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't going to take it home. For what? It was so ruined. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I was crushed for two reasons. One, I loved that tent. And two, yeah. I, I loved our campsite, but we couldn't stay the rest of the weekend. Right. Even if it was just James and I, we couldn't right. have stayed. So that kind of sucked. Yeah. Because you needed to have a tent. Uh, yeah, th there was no sleeping in the truck again. It was so freaking uncomfortable. I felt so bad for mom. Yeah. But she was a trooper. She was, I, I was going to say she was always a trooper. Whatever situation we were in. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. There, and there were times where when we were little and camping, a storm would come up. There was one Mother's Day weekend. I remember camping in um, New York. And do you remember that, Judy, in Winding Hills? 
-hmm. It was the middle of the night. And um, all of a sudden, mom and dad are like, let's go. That happened a couple of times. I do remember because they took us home. We were sitting in the back watching the lightning. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they, they, because we lived close enough. Yeah. To these, you know, to these campgrounds in our area. Yeah. And um, they're like, come on, get up. We're, we're going home. Yeah. You know, he just, my dad did not want to take a chance. And then the next morning we would go out and assess the damage. Well, dad did. And then, yeah. you know, if he felt it was safe for us to continue camping, we would continue camping. If not, yeah. then we, you know, the, the tent came down and we left early. Came home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was a rare occasion that we had to leave early. Yeah. Yeah. And we always were able to go back and continue camping. Yeah. yeah. We had fun. But, you know, dad, it wouldn't have, it, he always said, you know, we might have to take everything down and come back home. Okay. Yeah. But we never had to. We were always, everything re remarkably, we're very... we were very lucky because every time that happened, we'd go back. Everything, everything was, was okay. Mm -hmm. A little, you know, a little wind, wind blown. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, so, but we had a two room tent too. Mom and dad had a, a yeah. two room tent. We stayed in the back and they stayed in the front. Didn't they used to hook up the um, screen porch, the screen in area to the front of the tent also? Mm -mm. It no. It was separate. Okay. I couldn't, mm -hmm. I can't remember that. That's why I asked you. Mm -hmm. But we used to have a lot of fun. Yep. Now camping is for young kids. Not necessarily. Not. Todd and I still camp. Not me. Not I in mean, Florida. We, well, no. Okay. In Florida, it's for young kids. Yeah. Who there you go. Don't care about the heat and humidity. No. But Todd and I, we still think camp. That being said, um, sometime in the next year or two, George and I would like the boys to come down and visit. And uh, we'll get them a couple of tents. And Grandma Nana would probably sleep out in the tents with them. Well, somebody has to. So... Now that the garden is coming along nicely, there's a nice layer of um, mulch on the ground. And I swear to you, it feels like you're walking on like Carpet. a mattress. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Cool. Remember the number two that I missed the first go around? Did you miss it again? I sure did. Mm -hmm. I Same sure spot. Did. Huh? Yep. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm in fact, funny you should say the number two. I just got done with the number two. <laughs> drills. Yes. <laughs> number two drills. <laughs> the silver ones. <laughs> yes. Huh. Uh. And Dad made, we used to have, back in the 70s, they had these metal, you know how these days the little tykes makes the little kitchen sets out of out of plastic? Mm -hmm. Well, we had them back in the day, you know, in the olden days, and oh. they were metal. Yes. And our dad, when, when we outgrew it, repurposed it mm -hmm. and put shelf liner paper on the front of it that looked like wood planks. Mm -hmm. And he that's what we took with us and that's what we used to store you know food and stuff like that in that was a like a little, little um pantry type thing yeah when we were camping yeah we didn't have totes or anything no nope so i always thought that was neat yeah dad was always thinking outside of the box i guess Absolutely. that's where i get it from right and repurposing and stuff. Back mm -hmm. in the day, you know, back in the 70s, and stuff, that's what they did. Yeah. They made it work. Yep. You work with what you have and you make it work. That's right. 
But we used to have so much fun. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I'm having so much fun right now. I am too. Sorry we got quiet, guys. But if anybody is ever on one of our Zoom <laughs> calls, this is exactly what happens. Everybody gets quiet because they're all concentrating on things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And then it turns, for me, it turns into an ASMR session because I'm listening to everybody with their tapping of their drills against their projects you know the glue sticking to the drill or their cross stitching <laughs> that you little can hear the, yeah you can hear the cross stitch the the thread go through the eight cloth and before you know it i'm half asleep and <laughs> judy's sitting there with a the, with a diamond painting pen in her hand snoring yeah exactly <laughs> it happens and that's not so much asmr for anybody else no, it's not. It's just for me. <laughs> just for you. Yeah. Now I got to move. I got to get up and rearrange myself. Hang on. Ooh. My little legs, they fall asleep. Mm. I know that feeling. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I think I'm finding. It's not difficult, but I'm, I'm getting used to it, let's say. Um the not running around right now. Yeah. I was told it's going to take a little getting used to. And yes. Now I, and believe. I agree. Yeah. yeah. But I do get up. And Am I being stretch. productive because I'm not running around? Well, yes, exactly. you are being productive. Just yes. because you're not running around doesn't mean you're any less productive. Exactly. I was so used to being. Go, go, it go, just go, means go. your body isn't going to be put through the ringer. Yeah. I'm not going to cry on my way home from work every day. Because <laughs> mm -hmm, your back, your legs, your knees, your whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to flop in the car. <laughs> George is like, Jesus. Yeah. Exactly. I will never forget my last day at the store, though, Debbie, when I got in the car. Because <laughs> every day that I used to get in the car, I, I'd get in, close the door, look at George, and be like, haul ass. <laughs> <laughs> So on my last day, George actually went into the store um, to say hello to folks that he hadn't seen in a bajillion years. And um, so he parked in the parking lot. He didn't pick me up at our usual rendezvous mm -hmm. spot, which was the bus stop out in front of Home Depot. Oh. <laughs> and um, so we, we made our way to the car, got in. I buckled up and George starts the car and we're sitting there. Uh, and I'm like, are we going to go? And he was like, you didn't say it. And I'm like, oh, haul ass. <laughs> haul it like you stole it, son. <laughs> yes, please. And thank you. <laughs> We're actually going to go next weekend. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, we have to order a replacement uh, exterior door. And um, front so door? Gonna, uh, patio, the one oh, leading okay. out to the screen and patio that they broke. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, so we have to order a new one. So I'm going to call the lady that's going to help us this week to see um, if I can make an appointment with her. And this way, George can go take care of business. And you can visit. Mm -hmm. Yay. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? No, I don't work here. But well, you don't, see wear the, your, don't wear your don't wear the guy shirt. Don't Hell no! Shirt. See the guy in the orange apron. Go bug him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Judy, the queen no, of because, customer service, ladies and gentlemen. I was just gonna say, you know what's gonna happen. Somebody asked me where something is, and I'll be like, "Honey, I'll be right back." <laughs> <laughs> I'm about and, to take a walk with my new best friend, and George is gonna be like, "You don't work here anymore." And I'll be like, well, "I know, but they need help." But Home Depot runs through my veins. It does. I do. When they say bleed orange. I do's, I mm -hmm. do's. Mm -hmm. Besides one other gentleman there uh, in my training class right now, he's been there 31 years in August. Wow. 
and then next is me and a couple of other people that have been there 27 years. So, uh huh. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's fun though. I'm having a, I'm having a good time. I'm learning. That's for sure. I'm sure it's different. Intimidating at first. Yes. But then, like I told you the other day, I had to realize that, you know, A, I don't know everything and B, I can still learn things. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. It's been so long since I had to learn something. Yep. You can actually teach it in old sister new tricks. You really can. Now, what she does with those tricks is uh, her business, but that's not mine. Point. Amen. I'm not asking. No way, man. <laughs> These are really nice keychains, I will admit. They kind of, they remind, they look a little leatherish behind yeah, the, uh, but they're, behind the drill. But they are a nice, uh, a nice plastic. They are. They're nice. Yeah. But they do give you that leathery look. It does. It does yeah. behind the, um, behind the drills. It looks like, like a brownish leather. And they're really going together quick, quickly. They really are. Yeah. So I told you that I kitted up my gnome the other day. Yes, you did. So did I. Saturday morning I kitted it up. Yep. So we're ready. Yep. We are ready. Come on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yep. One, two, three. I'm up to number eight. Well, I'll sit in the back of the class and be quiet until you finish then. Oh, snap. How far are you? I'm done. Oh, jeez Louise, man. That's all right. There's only a few things on each of them. Jesus. Okay. Yep. What um, you do? Hi, this is Judy from the All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. Um, we have a little situation here. What happened? I just spilled like the whole bag of drills <laughs> everywhere. They didn't, yeah, they kind of bounced off the, the keyboard to my work computer. There was one sitting on my laptop that I'm recording from right now. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I, when I spill, I spill big time. Listen, it, it it's not worth doing if you're not going to do it right. Oh, amen. Amen. Dad always told us, don't half-ass. Nope. And I don't. You're the whole ass. I am the whole ass and nothing <laughs> but the ass, so help me God. <clears throat> Somebody has to be. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. Take your time. They're cute, though. I'm not going to really show mine are. until you get done. Okay. I'd love to. I'm probably going to find that other drill that made a run for it later. <laughs> it was like, I'm out. Toodles. Right. Almost done, I promise. I'm just... I'm on number 10 now, and it, and number 10 is only one. And then I've got... I, I, I almost got like said... like half a dozen more to do. Here. I almost said, but you don't have a number 10. Then I'm like, oh, no, that's me. I don't have the number 10. Duh. Yeah, yeah. Duh. I love this number 11. I love that at least we have one extra on number 11. <sighs> that star looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have three. Oh. I have three. <gasps> you lucky duck. <laughs> All right. I have six more drills to place for number 12. The little Ooh. tiny gold. Oh, yeah, yeah, beads. yeah. They're cute. Mm -hmm. They really are. Let's see here. Come on, little beads. Come on. Two, three, four, five, three, six. Okay, you'll work. There we go. Get my little. Uh, 
and I have to load my pen up with a little bit more wax, a little uh, red wax, just the last six, and I have to load it up. Right? I hate when that happens. I tell you. Oh, what a nice, quiet weekend. Yes. Um, Much needed. Yes. We we uh, gave a moment of silence this morning. Good. In, In honor, honor of, of those. those. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So. Oops. I need three more. There we go. Wow, and they only have three left of the number 12. The little gold beads. Uh, I have three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Wow. Yeah. There we go. Okay, kids. So, we're going to show our right side first and then the back side? Absolutely. You show the front and I'll show the back. Nice. Yay, now switchies. <laughs> Judy, they came out so cute. They really did. I'm really impressed with them. Yes. And we're going to put some of the uh, sealer on it to mm-hmm. seal them. Mm-hmm. And you know what else I like? Touching. This is a good quality keychain because when you're yes. touching it, you don't feel any of the glue. No, no. The glue really was only on where the spots it was supposed to be. be. Yeah. Yeah. They turned out really cute. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Mine did too. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, sis, thank you so much for this gift. And it was a gift to be able to sit here and do this with you too today. It was. It was nice. Thank Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Now we are going to at some point in time do a little video when we start our gnome, correct? Yes. Our little summertime gnome. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do that next weekend or sometime during the month of June. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a little sister chat and craft again. Yep. I like it. I yep. like it a I've, lot. I've got him laying flat right now. You got him laying flat? Yeah. yeah, he came with a little crease in his tummy, so I had to flatten it out. He did? Yeah. That's okay, yeah. though. Yeah, he's flattening out nice. In fact, yeah, the mine's crease already... is gone. <laughs> there you go. Good. Yeah, the yeah. day I got mine, I put him in my uh, portfolio mm-hmm. so I could flatten him out. And then the next day I made sure I kit it up because I wanted, definitely wanted to uh, work on that. Cool. So, and then once we're finished with sealing them, we have our little key ring, mm-hmm. the little key ring, and then the little fastener. The lobster claw. The lobster claw, yes. Oh, wait a minute. How about it's in frame? There you go. <laughs> I can't do I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. Ra, ra, ra. <laughs> what do you do on your days off? Oh, we go online and we act like kids. <laughs> so that's that. Let me just put away my my spares. I mean, it came number one and number two. There was quite a bit of the spares. These are a silvery oh. and these are a gold type. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Um, number came three with came with quite a bit mm-hmm. of spares. Number four mm-hmm. came with quite a bit. The special drills, uh, I did not have any. I did not have any spare number 10. Uh, I didn't have any spare number nine. And I had one spare number nine. I only had one spare number seven. I have one spare number seven. Wow. I have two spares for number six. I have four for number six and two for number five. And I have, I didn't have any number fives. And I have two number eight left. Mm, And then one number 11, that beautiful little snowflake snowflake. star type thing. Love it. And then three left of the number 12, the little gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, at least we didn't run out of anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
then I've got some in here from another diamond painting that I haven't put in my spare drills yet either. Yeah, this I've got... Is from another, this is from another painting that I did, so... Okay, oh, good. Yeah, these are going to get packed up in my spare drill kit. And, uh... Exactly. Because you never know. You no. never know. Listen, we, we repurpose here in the Sassy Sisters. S yep, World. Sassy Crafting Sisters and Misters. Them too. Well, today we're just today we're just the sassy sisters. We're just sassy, period. We we are we are. And I just ripped a hole in my in my uh, the tool bag. Brilliant. So there's Brilliant. that. Mm -hmm. So you're having a moment like me. Mm -hmm. Fab. So we're I'm all set now. I am whoop, putting my stuff away. I'm going to keep my little keychain, my little D out, so I can. Get that sealed. Kids, you heard it here first. She's keeping the D out. Uh, <laughs> FYI. Oh, my stars. Don't talk like that. Nasty. Uh, and today I have my uh, my watermelon quartz ring on. Oh, God. In gorgeous. honor of the, official, the unofficial start of summertime. It's got it green on the bottom and red on the top like a watermelon. It's really pretty. Thank you. That is really pretty. When did you get that? I've had this for a couple of years now. Have I you? break it out every so often, especially during the nicer weather during the summertime, because it, mm -hmm. it reminds me of summertime. Mm -hmm. So. I should say. Yeah. It looks And it. got some news for everybody. My husband is back to making jewelry. So. Can't wait. Yes. I can't wait to show you some of the stuff that he's made. So I'm very excited about that. Let me take my. My Mr. Magoo's off and put my regular glasses on. <laughs> there we go. Magoo's. So there's that. Maybe it's best that you can't see me today. Uh, talk about. Oh, Judy, that's so cute. Very nice. Uh, I love it. I do too. Yay. Oh, I love it. Well, that is about it for us today, my friends. Wow, that hour and a half went by quick. I know, right? <laughs> it was only going to be like, oh, I don't know, like, we'll do the one side in 15 minutes and then we'll give everybody a chance to not have to deal with us. And, and, but then, you know, technical difficulties, spillage on aisle two. Stories. Stories. We, we've had it all today. Yes, we have. We even had campfires today. Campfires, campfire stories. Yes. The tales around the campfires. Gather yes. around, children gather around. Mm. <laughs> I've had fun. Sis, I have too. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody out there. Yes. Uh, please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much. And please, that lady right there. She's got a great channel, too, called All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. You hop on over, and she, she has some great videos. You'll love her. And we do a, a little live every weekend on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next Saturday is Judy's turn. So we'll be on All Fired Up Crafting Lounge at 2 p.m. Eastern. So please join us, and you'll be in for an hour of laughs and just a good time. We just like to cut up and craft and have fun. Yep. And uh, until, go ahead, Judy. I'm sorry. And also catch us on Facebook, uh, Sassy Crafting Sisters and Misters. Mm -hmm. And that's where, besides our community tabs on YouTube, that's where we post um, uh, dates and times for our upcoming videos as well. So, yes. Yes. You'll so get if there's information. any information, you know, uh, catch us on our Facebook page that we share with the all loving Robbie from Facebook fame. That's right. He's, he puts the mister in the sassy sisters and misters. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. He We've got sassy. a great, he is sassy. Mr. In me. He is. <laughs> He's one of the sweetest. He is. But we've got some great folks in our little group community and uh, please stop on by and check it out. We'd love to see you there too. Absolutely. And until we see you all again, my friends, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Uh, God bless. And please take care of yourselves and one another. Please take care of all those animals that you consider your pets, 
even those that you don't, because we need to be the voice for those who don't have a voice. And until we see you again, my friends, God bless you. Take care. We love you. Happy crafting. Have a good night, guys. Bye. <laughs>